So in this tutorial I want to take you through setting up the Business Silver template. When you first install it this is the view that you'll get and this seems to confuse a lot of people. It looks a long way from being this template but it generally should take no more than about 10 minutes to take it from this to the to the finished template. So we're going to start off and go into the extensions module manager and in there we're going to set up the main menu to the top of the site. So just going to put that in the top menu position and we're going to keep it as main menu and list and we're just going to change the module class suffix and the menu class suffix to top underscore top. Call it top menu just so you can remember which one it is when you're looking at your modules. Save that, come to the front. When we refresh it, you can see it's down there. That's just because the latest news is in the way. So we're going to save that. Disable the latest news. We're going to create a new custom HTML module. We'll put our logo in this. There's no module class suffix needed. Um, I'm just going to disable I've just disabled the WYSIWYG editor. You want to be working just in the code view. So you can paste the HTML that's applied to, to set up the logo, but you can link to any logo that's on your on your server or somebody else's server to display in the logo position. Just refresh that page. And there's your logo and there's the menu now sitting in the correct position because we've removed the latest news. I'm going to create another custom HTML module. This time we're going to put the telephone number in it. I'm going to publish this one. I think it's user one. No, I think news flash. And again, just paste in the code. All this code's available on the website. You can download it as a text file. I'll just go back and just refresh the site. That should be right. Yeah, and now we're just going to put the login in place. Again, new custom HTML module. Let's call this login. We're not going to show the title and we're going to put it in position user1. Just going to paste in the HTML and click save. Now you see the top starting to shape up. Yeah, that's looking better. So we'll put in place now the rotating banners. So we're going to create another new custom HTML module. Call it rotating banners. We're not going to show the title. We're going to put it in main top. Just paste in that code again. Only going to show it on the home page as well. You can edit the images quite easily on this. Just make your images rename them the same and upload them or you can easily edit the banners anyway. That's it. So that's the rotating banners in place and all working. We'll now sort out the user 2, 3 and 4 which is the three blocks across the middle there. Oh no, right. I've put um I want to put this in the right position. We'll call it main menu, we'll show the title. Show it on all pages. And we just need to change the nav there. And I think the module menu class suffix is latest. We don't need the menu, just the module. And that gives our main menu on the right hand side. We'll move the search across there as well. You can play around with these settings to get it to the to the best of how you want it for your site, but uh, this will show you how to replicate what we've got on the demo server. I 
Right, that's the search in the search position. We've removed the the modules in user two, three, and four, so now we'll re recreate those modules. So we'll just call this user two position. Uh, user two position. Sorry. We're going to show the title. I'm going to put it in user2 and we need the module class suffix of underscore user2. Just paste in a demo code and we can easily change whether it's going to just show up on the home page or whether you want it on all pages. Just click on save. Just refresh the front and there's the user2 position. Now we're just going to replicate that for positions 3 and 4. And uh, the module class suffix on these ones will be underscore user three and user score under four, respectively. I'm just going to drop the same code into the HTML area as well, rather than mess about with different text. Click on save. Now we'll do the same for user four. In user 4 position and the module class suffix is uh, underscore user 4. Now we'll refresh the front. That gives us our three user positions at the top. Right, we'll sort these articles out now. So we're going to go across the menu, main menu. The default one, which is the home, controls the home page. First thing we're going to do is change the columns to one. A lot of people ask the question of um, how to change the page title. You can change that in the parameters system. We're also going to disable uh, pagination and we're going to hide the pagination results. We're just going to show a couple of links on the page at the bottom. And we'll go back and refresh. That should tidy up the articles. That's a lot better now. So you've got control over the uh, posted by administrator or the uh, print or all the icons. All that's controlled just in here. So you can either show the author or when it was last edited, etc. But I'm just going to leave it as it is for mine. I'm going to go to custom HTML. This time we're going to just put the user 5 position on the bottom left hand corner of the site. It's only a very small snippet so you can either use it for a link or a, a small fragment of text. There's no module class suffix required. If we go back and refresh the bottom of the page, you'll see there, user 5 position. Now we're going to drop the menu in on the, the bottom of the site. Just call this footer menu. And we're not going to show the title. It's going to go in position user 6. So on legacy horizontal underscore footer for your menu and module class suffixes. See how that looks. Yeah, and then we can also go back in there and we can put a, a bullet between each of the menus. Just go into the other other parameters. And then in the spacer, just put and bull call on. Just refresh. And there's the bullets in between. Now we'll put the Facebook and Twitter information in. It's going to be user 7. It's going to be shown on all pages. There we are on the bottom right hand corner. Those are dead easy. All you've got to do is just update the HTML for where you want them to link to.
And then we're going to put in the uh, copyright information at the bottom of the site, which is your own site information. I'm not going to show the title. We're going to put it in the footer position. Just paste in some dummy text there. Click on save. And you'll see there the text modify footer module. Uh, you'll also see that I've changed the menu there. Um, there was a bug in the menu that it wasn't centering, so I've just put a longer menu in to make sure that um, it works as it should. That's all. Everything is done. It should work fine. If you do have any problems, then you can always give us a shout and we'll go through it with you, or we'll even log in and give you a hand setting it up.